after we had some cake, <laughs> is it an entire piece? <laughs> I don't think so. Maybe just slices of cake. Yeah, but anyway, I wonder what. Oh, she said strawberry shortcake, right? So, <laughs> yeah, but anyway, after we had some cake, we went back to the workshop and tried to find out why the pins and the fairing had failed. What do you think? Yeah, why did it fail? Micro crack about a boy. Shit. Micro crack? That means a very, very small crack. A micro crack? Like a really tiny crack or something? Yeah, that's how, you know, that's how fragile rockets are, yeah. But we analyzed it with an x-ray before we tested it in the wind tunnel. There were no micro cracks. Isn't it just that the shockwave caused the micro crack? But it's not the reason the test failed? Shockwaves only cause bigger cracks and not micro cracks? And the material failed because of a bigger crack. Okay, let's assume that micro cracks are the reason. That would mean that the crack appeared some time between us moving the rocket out of here and testing it at Mark 1. Yeah, now I remember what Mark... Uh, not, not remember, I, I went to check and... Mark basically means the speed of sound. So basically Mark 1 means the speed of sound, which is 300 meters per second. Yeah, so remember the last time where they were testing that at 100 meters per second, and then 200 meters per second, and then finally Mark 1, right? Mark 1 is basically the speed of sound, which is 300 meters per second. So if it's Mark 2, I think Mark 2 will be like, is it times 2? I can't remember. <laughs> Whether it's times 2 or not. I don't think it's times 2. Is it times 2? <laughs> yeah, I only, but I do know that Mark 1 is basically the speed of sound. So that's 300 meters per second. Yeah, Mark 2, I guess, is twice of that. Or is it like at another 100 meters per second? I need to check here. But yeah. What could have caused it? Wait, micro cracks in all four fins and bearing? That seems quite a lot. It was probably quite difficult to damage all five parts without slamming the rocket into something. Hmm. Besides, it was iffy that CMRP could even receive micro cracks from hitting something. Nothing of the sort happened until we put it in the, into the wind tunnel, right? In the wind tunnel, huh? Can micro cracks appear just from the air going over it? It could. No, they could. No, yeah, that is a possibility. No? Oh, no? Okay. Alright. What about that thing where the friction of the air and the pressure make it hotter? それと本番と同じモードに設定したから、温風みたいなのが出てきて、普通より温度が上がるっぽい。Okay. Really? That's just setting us up to fail. How hot is it? Maha 1だと100から200度ぐらいになるっぽい。でもそれぐらいじゃ樹脂も炭素繊維も溶けないんだよ。Yeah, 100 or 200 degrees is like not really that hot when if you're talking about fibers and all that, the resin and all that. It's not that hot, really. So we don't know what went wrong. Oh yeah, by the way, I just checked. Yeah, Mark 2 is yeah basically two times the speed of sound. Yeah, so but exact okay, so well we we I do know that Mark right is Mark 1 is basically the speed of sound. So we know that the speed of sound well, what I've learned in school is the speed of sound is 300 meters per second, right? But the actual speed of sound is not 300 meters per second, but 343 meters per second. So Mark II is basically twice of that speed. Yeah, so correct. And Mark II is twice of that speed, so it's 686, and then Mark III is times 3, and so on. Yeah. Yeah, let me see again. We don't know what ran wrong. Not really. So you do know? Honoka and I moaned and tried to think of a reason for the failure. Wait, is there a translation error here? Uh, okay, there's a bit of phrasing error here. So basically what Otoya actually said is, uh, uh, so we don't know what went wrong and then Honoka actually is supposed to say, uh, not that I know of, I can't think of any reason what went wrong. Yeah, that's actually what she meant. So. 
for those who so you might get for those who have read through this vision of it read this part they might get the misconception here so that we don't know what ran wrong and Honoka said not really that, does that mean to say she actually knows the reason why she no that's not really the case <laughs> yeah what actually is meant is meant to be translated here is so we don't know what went wrong Honoka said not that I know of not really I don't know what really went wrong that's actually what Honoka is trying to say because she said in Japanese omo omo what, what, what was it now omochotto omochotta is like and I can't really yeah, I can't really think of it, the reason, so yeah. But we didn't have any ideas. So... Sure. Alright, how about we drop by the club room? Uh, this time? It's night time though. But okay. Are we gonna have supper from there? <laughs> Uh, I mean, eventually they're gonna have a soft yes, but it's a matter of yeah when. <laughs> but we're going to the club room, alright? And so we went to the club room, and it's just the two of us there, right? Yeah, nobody's here. So yeah, but well, yeah, but Arisa, I thought Arisa would be here, but well, since she's working on the PR, so you would think she she is here, right? But apparently not. Maybe she has already gone back home. Call, call it a day. Yeah. But I'm surprised Arisa isn't. Yeah, that's why. Maybe she has business somewhere. Maybe she's attending to... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Who else would she be attending? Wait. Yeah, maybe she's attending to... Uh, Natsu? Yeah. Have some fun, huh? With, with what? If we had found Arisa there, I could have asked her for help with our problem. I decided to give up and just take a real break. Senpai. I? Honoka gave me a suggestive look. You want to have a saxophone here? It's just two of us, alright, sure. She usually play her tricks on me in situations like those. Yes? Honoka tachi, futarikiri da yo. Here we go again. <laughs> I burst out laughing. <laughs> ah, yes? So we are. So what? <laughs> well, didn't you say the exact same thing already? Is this a trick question? <laughs> like what Otoya said. Oh, uh, didn't we already, didn't you already say the same thing, you know? Is that a trick question? <laughs> Your next line is, won't you give it a try, Otoya? Oh. Right. So the same conversation back in the angling club. That's like quite a long while ago. You got me good that time, but I'm not falling for the same trick again. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> You're gonna get hurt one day if you keep talking like that. No, I don't hurt girls. I'm not talking about me. Yeah, it basically means you and Honoka and Otoya really get along. She had a pretty annoying personality sometimes. When was that? Itsu? Ah. Okay. This feels like it was longer than that. Oh, it was just after my mom died. Oh, man. Yeah, I remember we, we learned about how, how Toya's mom died. Well, yeah, during... In, in, basically in Arisa's route, I think it was due to illness. Cancer, yeah. She died of cancer. I was pretty confused at the past back then, so I'm surprised I went along with your joke. I guess I coped better than I remember. That time, his father wasn't there to you know, oversee the funeral. It, it, basically did everything you know, to set up the funeral and all. Yeah, Toya's dad wasn't there, but then we learned why he wasn't there. Yeah, 
Oh, I remember that. I knew that I was killing the wood, but I couldn't act normal. It really helped me that you were trying to be like always. <laughs> it must have been hard for you too. Sorry. Honoka <laughs> laughed. I remembered how her smile and laughter had saved me. But perhaps I had made mistakes anyway. What happened to the others after I quit the angry part? So the usual. So you went around having fun basically. That's the soft cut. I mean? It really was. Don't know. I guess I was taking it easy and hung out with Daichi a lot. I kept fishing too. That's from the rocks though. Wait, though right? Not thought. <laughs> but the heck is thought. That's from the rocks though. Doing it for fun every now and then was enough for me. <laughs> well, it's lonely. That made her unhappy apparently and... Yeah, I don't think we've actually seen Honoka looking un unhappy like this before. I think this is the first time we actually see a face like this. Yeah, not, not, not impressed. Well, I was a bit lonely too. I missed you, Honoka. I Takata! <laughs> well, that basically means I want to see you! I wanted to see you! Sorry, I recru recruited you for the club and quit. I feel bad about that. Honoka said nothing. She knew I wasn't telling her the whole story. After my mom died, I was deeply in shock. She knew that. I wanted to tell her something, to put it all in a better light, but didn't know what to say. What would have happened with Honoka and me if my mother had a time? But it's, there's no point, you know, looking back, you know, no point, yeah, on hindsight and all that, there's no point, you know. You have to susumu, you know, you have to move on, move forward. Perhaps the reason I said nothing was because of that question. So, like, what happened here? Oh, then that's why you couldn't move forward, right? But yeah, at some point you have to like, not not forget about it, the past, but remember the good old, good memories of like the the person that has passed on, and then you know just move on in life. But of course, not forgetting about the good memories that you had with the you know with the ones that with your close ones, with a loved one that has passed on, you know. At any rate, the silence was starting to be uncomfortable. I groped around for something to say. Oh yeah, nice weather. <laughs> it's what I would say, but we're indoors. <laughs> I remembered what her father had made me promise to. Oh, what was it now? I can't remember. Hey, Honoka. Oh, right. The thing about the, like, protect her, right, from other men or something <laughs> like that. I tried to act as bright and natural as possible. Nani, Honoka answered as though the pristine silence hadn't existed. Got someone you like these days? Ah. <laughs> the moment I asked, I felt something coil around my heart. Yes, it's you. You have feelings for Honoka. Uh, I don't, I, I, whenever I hear this music with Honoka, I somehow... <laughs> I mean, there, this sort of scene happened before there was like... In, in the common road, like, there, there was that one scene at the beach there where we, we hear this music in Honoka and then she was like kidding, just kidding and then, oh no, not again <laughs> I see Ina! <laughs> I tried to end the conversation there but Honoka persisted Yes, just wants to bring this to some su another suggestive tone again Or I'm seriously hoping that this is this is like serious and all, but I I can't just I just can't bring myself to <laughs> taking this seriously. But we'll see. 
Oh, look how locked up to me. She was quite close. Alright, sure. Alright. I think this is serious though. I mean, that one time when this music uh, played, she did sort of like in. But then it's like, then Onoka then later like, ah, never mind, I'm just kidding out there. But I think deep down, she, she probably is somewhat serious. My heart was beating very quickly. I tried to ignore the heavy beating and asked her, Who is it? Who is it? Even before she says, no, It's not you. <laughs> it's someone else. Oh my god. She didn't respond for a moment and only stepped directly at me. I looked back at her. She pressed her lips together, having seemingly made a decision. Oh man. She was about to get serious from the looks of things, but then some door opened. <laughs> Distraction. Oh. Oh hi. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to have fun with you, so. Onoka leaped back to make some distance between us, so she is serious from the looks of things. Yeah, looking at her, judging by her reaction here, she is serious. Oh, we have fit a dead end. We decided to come to the club room to take a break. <laughs> Why are you saying that? We really didn't do anything, so why are you freaking out for the car? <laughs> Nothing, really. Nothing as far as I know. Why? Why do I have to be the one to make tea? What? Why? Hey, I'm not your tea boy. <laughs> Why do you want hot tea in this weather? Okay. Fine. Go oh. hot. I took the tea leaves from a shelf together with a small teapot and went to the electric kettle. The kettle already had water in it, but I pressed the reheat button anyway. I mean, just to make it hot, you know. Let's see, wait, Arisa. I'm making this scorching hot. <laughs> Why so? Add some spices into it. Add some chili. <laughs> Making it even more hot, even hotter. Like, and I was just like, what is this? Oops, they put to do that. Revenge is a dish best served. Best served CD hot, yes, with chili pepper. Ch wait, hot chili pepper. Let's put it in. <laughs> if we can find one. I put the boiling water into the teapot and placed the glass tumbler on the table. And I poured the tea into the tumbler. Whoa! What? What happened? The glass tumbler had cracked. What? Oh wait. Could this actually give Otoya the idea as to why the wind the the, the what was that thing, the engine, the wind tunnel cracked as well? This might be this might give him a yeah, an idea though. Victory Oh, it just cracked, yeah, under pressure. Some sort of room temperature pressure. Oh, yeah. Now we know it has to do with some liquid or air, hot air, but. But then, no, Kunoka said it has nothing to do with hot air or something. Really? I didn't know that. But yeah, because, I mean. It depends on what kind of glass you're talking about. I mean, some glass can handle hot tea, but I think it's because this is boiling water. But then, no, not really. I mean, boil some glass normally can handle boiling water, right? <laughs> so I guess in this case, I guess it's that glass um, the glass of this glass tumbler can't handle the heat. It, yeah. 
私に復讐しようとでも思ったわけ I mean, yeah, just to skip your hands. <laughs> Cause it's too hard to even hold it. <laughs> too hard to even hold it. She really had to stop reading my mind. So why does the tumbler break if you pour hot tea inside? Oh, this glass is not heat resistant. Well, I guess, I mean, normal glass is usually heat resistant. But this glass tumbler, I guess, is not heat resistant, that's why. So does that mean the reason why the, the, the engine or wind tunnel, why? I can't remember what exactly that it's called, but anyway, the engine, I guess the reason why the engine cracked is because it wasn't heat resistant, right? It has to be it. Well, I know that. Thermal cracking, yeah. So that's, this probably happened to the, our, our engine as well, yeah. So I don't think I need to read this. Oh, yeah, basically, thermal factoring, thermal cracking, yeah. We don't need to read. I mean, it's understood means due to heat and it crack. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, well, thermal basically means heat. Yeah, thermal expansion, yeah. Our expensive better. Thermal expansion. Thermal expansion means it gets bigger from the heat, right? Yeah, somewhat, yeah. We may know that. Doesn't travel to parts of the glass that the hot water doesn't touch very quickly. Okay, won't expand immediately. その周辺部の膨張していないガラスを押し広げる状態になりガラスに応力がかかって割れるああ、オッケーオッケーそれが熱割れおう、グッドなああ、I see are the fins and the fairing doing the same? Yeah, that's a high, like, highly likely case. Let's go and try that. Yes, we got our solution. Bye. Yes, I'm, I don't need to serve you any more tea. Bye. Hold on, kind I left the club room and headed to the, the workshop. Yes, leaving the those two behind. Bye. We still had CFRP prototypes lying around for the manufacturing process. So we tested them in a heat cycle experiment. After that, we analyzed them with an X-ray. There was a large number of micro cracks in the material, far greater than the ones we found after the wind plant. Looks like this was the cause, right? We have thermal cracking, the CFRP. Aerodynamic heating, okay? Then when the shock waves hit, they broke apart. Because CFRP? <laughs> Let's look into it. We have Shira We looked at the properties of the resin and the carbon fibers we were using. Oh, carbon fibers and resin, the thermal expansion coefficients, very different. Okay, so it's basically the degree of the thermal expansion, how much larger the substance comes when it's heated by 1 degree Celsius. Okay. What's the thermal expansion coefficient? Ah, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> How much bigger something gets when it's heated? So the higher the number, that means it, the bigger it, it gets when it's heated. I see. So basically, it's the resin that expands against the carbon fibers that don't expand. That's why. So when the CFRP is heated, the resin expands and tries to push apart the carbon fibers that, and that makes micro cracks. Ah, okay. But if this is what causes the micro cracks, then what can we do about it? Uh, isn't 100 or 200 degrees normally no problem for CFRP? 
トグレーブの時に使う樹脂とバータム候補で使う樹脂が違うのが原因じゃないかな。そう、should we standardize it like this? Use the same resin for both a u t o c l a v e and b a t o m Ah, really? バータム候補で使った樹脂は人生が低いからマイクロクラックができやすい。But guess we should make this resin upper? Huh? What does that mean exactly? Like, as it, as it says exactly, huh? <laughs> yeah, how much the material resists fracturing? Okay, and a material that has less toughness cracks more easily, such as from thermal cracking. So, all we have to do is switch to the octoclave resin, and the problem goes away. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> だと樹脂を機械で加圧して無理やり外しさせるんだけどバータム工房だと加圧しない。But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean we can't use、uh, we can't use a u t o c l a v e resin, right? All we did was make a vacuum and pump in the resin. だから粘度が低いサラサラの樹脂じゃないと炭素繊維にちゃんと外しできないんだよ。Need a resin with low vis viscosity. I think viscosity is I forgot what it means, but basically something to do with stickiness. What happens if it doesn't impregnate them? Oh shit. I guess that was obvious. Okay, so the autoclave is a warrior. The bottom is a teeth. You can only use class armor basically. Why are you comparing this to a game now? <laughs> to an RPG? I didn't know your gamer too, for the car. <laughs> But yeah, it's true. Thieves can't equip armor that make them slower because they need to be swift, you know? Yeah, they need to be fast and stealth, stealthy. And we just have to find the right armor for a thief. We broke out a handbook filled with technical data on all the resins one could possibly use. It was thicker than a telephone directory. <laughs> well, I mean, when it comes to like, engineering mechanical stuff like this, sometimes it's still best to have a you know, hard copy manual, yeah, handbook, rather than a soft copy. I mean, usually manuals are like really, really thick, so it's more convenient to just flip through the book than to. Like, try to look through on your app or your phone or something. Especially when it's like tons of pages, like 600, at least 600 pages long, then it's like, you want to scroll like mad. Well, there's, there's, there's the thing about search function, but still, it shouldn't be too hard to see through if we do it together. What do you want to cut it? What? Honoka used the knife to cut the handbook in two. <laughs> really? We began to see through our halves in search of thief armor with a high defense stat. Essentially, that means a resin that combines the right viscosity with high toughness. Okay, but I guess it's smart of her to cut the bolt in half, but then it's like, hey, you spoil the bolt, you know? Okay. How about this one, Honoka? This one, the RT37A. How does that sound? RT370, we see with both low viscosity and high toughness. Okay, so we found it. But this is a. a yeah, it's an original. <laughs> it's a game original material, so that means it doesn't exist in real life. RT370, okay. What's it going to tell you? So I wonder if there's a material in real life that has,、uh, that has low viscosity and high toughness. Uh, yeah, that's the thing. Can we see the glossary here? Let me see. Let me see.、Uh, maybe I go f r o m big. So, uh, yeah, low intensity and high toughness. Is there a material like that? Is there a resin like that in real life? The old man had a really old fashioned attitude when he came to work. Oh, <laughs> nice one. Old man, old fashioned attitude. So he was probably just going to tell us to figure it out a little. It went a little easier on us because we were still students 
but he still didn't exam didn't explain everything by anime. Even before he actually doesn't know how to explain things. <laughs> even before he doesn't even know about it. なんだ。アルティ37へって受信してる。またの候補で使おうと思うんだけど。やっと気づきやがったな。ロケット用の部品にあんな樹脂使いやがって。そう、ほんのカソ、ファーダーズ <笑> 俺がいつロケット用の部品を作ったの。ちった頭を使いやがれ。うん。ふれた。RT37A there's something else we need to figure out. No, nothing else yet. So. Oh no, he's hinting at something. So there's something else we need to know. What is it? Well, there was a little oven. Okay, but club activities are almost over, you know. Okay. Fine. I was feeling similar anyway. Hey, can I sleep? Uh, can I sleep over to finish this? Well, we're not. We're not gonna skip school. Okay. Nara, skin is na. Chok chok, yosu wa mini kuru kara yo. Thanks. Hehehe. Bye, to da. We get to sleep in the same room, right? <laughs> we're just working through the night. Not gonna sleep, but midnight oil. Hold on. Let's see if the CFRP is really ju uh, fine just from using the new receipt. What Honoka's dad had said was bothering me. Yeah. He's definitely hinting at something like there's something else we haven't figured out yet. But I guess we'll find out when you know when we stumble upon that failure again. I mean another failure. So yeah. As we come to May 10. The sun glaring at us through the window was maliciously bright. I have worked through the night, and my ability to resist sunlight was about as well developed as a vampire's. <laughs> okay. Senpai, you're a bad boy. I've been working on a cyclone in a cyclone, but I can't do it. Low shock resistance, huh? How low? Oh, that's not good. The design target from when we wanted to use the autoclave, right? Hmm. Throughout the night, we had made CFRP using bottom and tested it. We had just made a rough prototype shape and tested it in a heat cycle experiment and a shock experiment. But the results were always the same no matter what. Changing the resin lead to uh, leads to a disappearance of the microcracks after the heat cycle experiment, but the shock resistance was in insufficient. I guess this is supposed to be that. Past tense. Essentially, that meant the part would simply break more easily overall. Is this just because Vatan produces lower spec components to begin with? Hey, use Vatan recently instead of the autoclave recently? Well, he didn't exactly say that, but I guess he hinted at it. Oh. He's not going to tell us if he asks her. He wants you to figure it out, yes? Yes, <laughs> that's what he, he would say. He's trying, yeah, he just mimic his dad. Her dad, I mean, she, she just remake her dad. Didn't sound like him at all. I mean, there's that impression. Motoka, did they ever joke about you getting switched up at the hospital? And what are you on about now? <laughs> uh, no, 
なか女の子だから、似てなくて当たり前だもん。<笑> yeah, no. Yeah, no choice but to think about it ourselves if an old man wasn't going to tell us. What's the,、uh, what's the big difference between the autoclave and bottom? Then we need to know. I guess you've never used an autoclave before. p o l o k a went over to the bookshelf and began to see through the binding. She started to read. Well, the way they are facing is different. Facing? What do you mean? So it seems like the better option is the cross directional pattern. Okay, that's why, that's why Otokas dad is like hinting at them to use bottom. Do you see instead of. Yeah, instead of.、Uh, bottom resin, instead of autoclave resin. Carbon fibers have different tensile strength in different directions, right? I vaguely remember being told that when we were making the m o t o c a s e Sorry, I vaguely remember being told that when we were making the m o t o c a s e for our Max 5 entry. As long as it's in the same direction. Okay. So that's why ultimately cross direction is the problem. Unless you're just dealing against natural forces. So if we know from which direction the shot is coming, A unidirectional pattern is way better, right? If a u t o c l a v e s usually use the unidirectional pattern, then that was probably better in most cases. Yeah, unless you're, you're dealing with all directions. Why doesn't Vatam use the unidirectional pattern? So, the effect. So, this one here, the unidirectional impregnation resin cures only partial. Pre pack. t h e n intermediate step to shape the steer puppy during autoclave procedures. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Alright, I just, just wanted to quickly know why is it. Uh, high pressure of an auto play. Okay, so you have two problems basically. First, a cross directional pattern uses b o r k and weft tracks, so they can be made especially strong in one direction. And second, we can't increase the pressure, so we can't impregnate the fibers as well as with a B pack unidirectional pattern. Well, my head has always been hurting because I don't understand basically 80% of what they're saying. <laughs> In terms of the rocket stuff, yeah. I'm past the headache and t o s e puking. Really. We knew what the problem was, but we had no idea how to fix it. And since we hadn't sleep, slept at all the night before, we couldn't really think straight either. We have to change and go to school soon. Okay, shower. Oloka walked in the direct,、uh, direction of her room. Their house adjoined the workshop. She stopped and turned around the way in before she says, Want to come take a shower with me? <laughs> she, become, she has become too predictable, Honoka. <laughs> You want me to wash you again, right? Sure, I guess. I knew she was trying to call you me and had decided to respond to kind. <laughs> oh, Daichi, please. <laughs> oh, yeah, and this is the first time we're actually seeing Daichi in his casual outfit. So, okay, I mean, it looks decent. 
wearing some beige yellow shirt. And at the worst possible time, I was overheard. It's Karada. What? What do you mean since when? Not, no, nothing. When what? He was completely misreading the situation. Tonoka! Oni-chan wa kiite nai zo! Hey, don't, don't be like your dad now. Datte, oni-chan, nande mo kande mo otoza ni yunda mo? Tonoka was trying all she could to, to keep the misunderstanding alive. Why? Hatari mai daro! Tosa ni iwa nakya, oni-chan, shinu ka mo shire nai nda! Omae wa oni-chan ga shinde mo ii no ka? Yes. <laughs> He wouldn't kill you. Just come up with some excuses like how Otoya has done time and time and again. <laughs> yeah, every time he has managed, always managed to get out of the situation. How does that link to be more than a year? Not yet, come down. <laughs> yeah, I said that. Not yet. Daichi's imagination ran wild. Hey, what? Echi, what? <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> Dude, no! Yes, it's too late, okay? No, no, screw it, screw off! It's bad, right? right. It's not what you call that, screw off, yeah. <laughs> Daichi, people say that you take after your father, right? What are you gonna do? You're gonna kill me, no? Are you gonna kill me? Listen to us before you do that. So I'm so because it's me, so you won't pick us pick us up, right? <laughs> Uh, you were, so are you saying you're going to sacrifice yourself for our sake? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, if you keep shouting like this, your dad is going to overhear you. Just go and lay down your life. It was your idea. Are you dying? <laughs> You're way too confused right now. だけど、エッチラに落ちただろ。父さんには、ほのかはまだ男と手を繋いだこともないって報告してるんだ。<笑> <Yeah. laughs> And I have faith in you. You can win. <laughs> Just tell him how it really is, I thought. You should learn from Otoya, really. Well, Honoka and I haven't done anything like that, so calm down. Heck, <laughs> skin pieces, what? No, oh, this is a really basic misunderstanding. Was it even possible to skip second base? Yes, you could. Yeah, you're saying that while you're still flipping out. This is all your own fault. Otoka walked over to my side and whispered. Are you not making Are you not making sweat, Sonoka? <laughs> no! <laughs> Seriously? Don't speak just loud enough so he can hear you! 
イトが起きちゃったから一緒に入るのはまた今度にしよう。OK。One on one。音や。Right。You want to fight? <笑> yeah? 本当に付き合ってないのかな Uh, actually, the, this translation is,、uh, is wrong. Because Daichi said, Honto ni tsukiyate nai no ka. Basically, he said, Are you sure you two aren't going out? Rather than promise you two aren't going out. That's actually wrong translation. I don't know what's, what's in the translator's mind when he translated this line. But yeah, it, it, but Daichi actually just said, Are you sure you two aren't going out? Yeah, we aren't. So, what? No? If this is already borderline for you, you'll never get a girlfriend. So, what? I don't I think that's common sense. I left Daichi and his wounded right behind and changed out of my bio suit and into my school uniform. Senpai, o m a t a s e All right. Okay. <laughs> Honoka was in high spirits on the way to school. What's up? So nostalgia? I guess that's true. Honoka and I had often walked to the school together in the past. Aichi walked with us at first, then after that, he gave us space in the end. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. We were actually late once. I remember the teacher getting super mad at us. So, well, yeah, Otoya has always been a spectator. I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, at least at the start of this vision of it. You bought sweets on the way, even though we had a hurry. You need sugar. Every day, you just wanted to eat sweets. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Honoka playfully took my hand, and we get a CG right here. Wow. Of Honoka holding Otoya's hand. <laughs> but, but playfully, yeah. Dude, this is a nice sight, and we get to see the tsundere tooth. <laughs> well, Honoka is not a tsundere, but this is the kind of tooth that you usually see among tsundere. So, yeah, that tooth over there, that shark tooth. <laughs> That's very cute. Yeah. Alright, this is the CG of this episode. <laughs> She had already said that more or less. I could say the same about you. That Honoka held my hand, up and touched me a lot. Wasn't anything new. Oh, Naruhodo. <laughs> Because of her, you quit? I had to laugh. No, I looked at my father and thought that being a fisherman was pretty hard. I just wanted to do it as a hobby. Our angling club was pretty serious. Ah,、uh, yeah, in the past, but then after that, I guess he, because of his, we, we learned in Harisa's route that because of his mother's death, then that caused him to like be depressed and all, and then eventually he lost his, yeah, his, oh no, main reason is because. After his mom died, then his father didn't like come back to, you know, even, didn't even come back to like, yeah, help out with the, like, set up the funeral and all that. Didn't even come back to pay his last respect. So that actually caused him to lose his motivation for being a fisherman. Yeah, because the main, basically the main reason why he started this fisherman, club, like, he was really excited to be a fisherman is because. Really, because he looked up to his dad. Otoya looked up to his dad, that's why. But after he lost respect, all respect for his dad, after what happened, yeah, after his mom died, and, yeah, and he lost all, motiv all motivation for being a fisherman, he lost his 
Yeah, his goal, his basically, yeah, his his what you call that is determination to be a and his yeah his spirit yeah like you know yeah an accomplice. You said something about being a fisherman's wife one day and joined. <laughs> really now? What's fisherman moe anyway? Uh, sorry, not moe. <laughs> Why am I saying this in Japanese? Fisherman mo. Well, why? Well, what about now? Oh, you now you have a change of ideas now. <laughs> like first you say, oh, you wanted to be a fisherman's wife. Now you say, oh, I think being a rocket engineer's wife is pretty really good. Well, earlier I said something about spirits. Like he lost the fire in him to be a fisherman. Basically. The reason you join clubs is pretty pure. Basically, he joined because of you, Toya. Why, don't? Oh, had I overdone it? Otoka was working on our rockets, so he should obviously get upset if I talk like that. Sorry, I know you're working as hard as you can. I don't want you to hate me. You just stay clear? Can you forgive me? It, it really sounds like they're just role playing you. That, that... Ah, what? Was that Arisa? What? <laughs> hey, what? Why, why did you hit me? I didn't do anything wrong, what? Why are you being so harsh to me early in the morning? I have no idea, seriously, what is Lothario? Wait, <laughs> what did he say? What did Otoya say now? <laughs> what? Never heard of any fish with that name. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, it does sound like the name of a fish. Well, what is it then? I just like glanced over at Honoka. Um... Alright. Lotario. Let me go. Let me go look it up right now, Lotario. Give me a sec. So basically, a man who behaves selfishly and irresponsibly in his sexual relationships with women. But what do you mean a man behaves selfishly and irresponsibly? Where's the where's the sexual innuendo here? I don't get it, man. You forgive me and then alright, I forgive you. Was, is there is there a sexual innuendo here? Am I missing something here? But okay. What? But okay, I don't get you, Arisa, but okay. Anyway, uh, Ohio. Remy and Natsu were waving at us from a fair distance away. <laughs> 